Nothing be done to save them? It's too late. Above water. Watch the spacecraft for further communication. Organize a rescue party at once.
were concerned about your friends? Who are you? What did you get to say? My life. I am Prince Baron, real ruler of Mongo. I was dethroned when a child by Ming the Merciless, who killed my father. The scientists of your genius can aid me in overthrowing Ming. But in the meantime, what are my friends? I will save them. But we must get to Kayla's palace before Ming's party. The price. The allegiance of you and your friends. I've hoped for this moment since I learned of your arrival on Mongo. My rocket ship is waiting to rescue your friends. Come. King Zoltan, talk man. And deadly enemies. I hope they haven't seen us. King Zoltan is an ally of my father, the Emperor Ming. It doesn't make him our friends. Come quickly. Dennis taken care of. This is Prince Baron, our newfound friend and sympathizer. He came just in time. Laura, where's Dale? She and Son have been carried off for the Hawkman. We've got to find them in one. No, there isn't a chance. King Bolton's palace is in the sky. My rocket ship's at your disposal. No. First you must return me to my father. Oh, you've caused enough trouble already. We'll take you back after we've gotten them. Come on.
His Majesty, King Vulcan. What has been done with the lion man who was captured with her? He was revived and sent to the Adam Furnace, as Your Majesty ordered. Inform his melting ray. Can't you see I'm busy? Be gone. Lock those doors. What's wrong, Baron? We're nearing the gravity rays of King Bolton's city. Is there any hope of escaping that ray? 
Our resistor force will soon be exhausted by the power of those melting rays. by the gravity-defying rays that support the sky city. And we're safe? As King Vulcan's prisoner, our chances are slim. We are better acquainted. Get him off of me. You decline the honor of becoming my queen? I did not know your highness was in the ship. My father will send an army to destroy you and your entire city. Not while I hold his beautiful daughter hostage. You would dare to make me a prisoner? Shall we say, uh, guest? <laughs> oh, you're the Flash. I've heard so much about. Yes, I'm the fellow. What about it? I need a strong man like you. Zarkov, a great scientist, Your Highness. I have need for a great scientist. Guard, take Dr. Zarkov to my laboratory and remove his bonds. And the strong young man to the furnace room, where he will be kept warm. You can't do this, Your Majesty. No? Maybe you do not wish to be separated from your friend. You shall go with him. Release those men, Bolton, or I'll... Don't annoy me. Guard, take them away. Do you party find any trace of my daughter of the Earth people? Yes, Your Majesty. We discovered a hawk man who had been injured in a fight with the Earth man, Gordon. He told us that Chris Thun and the Earth girl had been taken as prisoners to King Bolton's city. Where Bolton, no doubt, will compel the Earth girl to marry him. It is a habit of his. But what are the others? The Princess Aura and Flash Gordon were found by Dr. Zarko and Prince Baron. Baron, eh? 
I thought that treacherous pretender would interfere. They have gone in pursuit of the others in Fitz Baron's rocket ship. Prepare my rocket fleet at once. We will go to the sky city of Bolton and teach him a needed lesson. Radium activity in this laboratory is quite strong. Yes. My city is supported by the gravity-resisting rays thrown out by the atom furnace, Dr. Sarko. I understand. But what if something should happen to your furnace? What if your supply of radium fuel becomes exhausted? It would mean complete destruction. A new substitute must be found. It will be your task to discover this new force. That's why I spared you from the furnaces. Spared me? You mean that my friends are... They are feeding radium to the atom furnaces and will continue to do so until you discover this new force. The radium will kill them. It's a very pleasant death. To your task, my friend, it's up to you. I must warn you, Flash Gordon's life depends upon your attitude toward King Bolton. What do you mean? Convince Bolton you do not care for Flash. Oh, I couldn't do that. Just as I thought. You care more for yourself than you do for Flash. No, that's not true. Then prove it. How? Give him up. You're the cause of all his trouble. That's not true. I'd do anything for Flash. Tell Bolton you love him. And I can save Flash. You give him up, I can make him a king. You do not, you will pay for your selfishness with his life. All right. I will. You do not eat, my little duck. Not hungry? And you don't enjoy my entertainers? Solomon.
Good. You are thinking of the Earth now. Oh, no, Your Majesty. She confessed to me she liked you very much. Is that not true? Yes, Your Majesty. It's just as I told you, Bolton. The Earth woman finds the men of Bongo more attractive than the men of her own planet. My little dog. your feelings. did not eat enough dinner. Come, take her to the throne room. Bring the Earthmen up to me. enough to save the man you love. They struck him. I couldn't stand it. What happens to him now will make those whiplashes seem like love pats. Did you kill Flash? No, not yet. Your Majesty must pardon me. I was overcome by the heat of the furnace room. Or was it because of Flash Gordon? I have been told that you love him. That was before I met Your Majesty. You will have to prove that. You doubt my word? Come. Beyond this room, I will know the truth. the earth. No, 
Father, I can't bear to see him tortured. You could never win Dale by murdering Flash. Peg him down. Is he dead? He still lives. No thanks to you. I begin to understand. It is for yourself that you want to save this Earth man. Yes. He belongs to me. Dress him and take him to my laboratory. Tell Dr. Zarkov to counteract the shock and save him. tried to electrocute him. Quick, to the electro-stimulator. It may not be too late. You do not like the beautiful clothes I gave you? Yes, Your Majesty, but... Oh, you are thinking about Flash Gordon. Do not worry. He will not bother us anymore. Then you didn't keep your promise. You killed him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I gave him to Princess Aura to take to Emperor Me. Perhaps he can have some fun with him. <laughs> Isn't that what you wished? I didn't wish him to die because of me. Are you sure he's all right? We shall learn his condition from Dr. Zarkov. Have Dr. Zarkov report to me immediately. You are beautiful. Thank you, Your Majesty. Perhaps my wives are a little too fat, huh? <laughs> ah, you like to be amused. Come, I will show you something funny. Now, uh, watch. <laughs> oh, that does not amuse you? Wait.
Ash. Quiet. You'll be all right in a minute. Zakov. Where's Dale? What happened to him? Let me tell him about Dale, Dr. Zarkov. His Majesty requests your presence. Why do you ask for Dale? You saw her in the torture room. She stood by, smiling, while Walton tried to kill you. Aura, why do you always blame Dale? You know that she was helpless. Yes. She was helpless. It was I who defied the king and saved you. Oh, Flash. Can't you understand? I'll make you a king. Let Bolton have Dale. I'm grateful to you for saving my life. I want more than your gratitude. I'm an Earthman. Someday I hope to go back to my own planet. And if I do, Dale Arden goes with me. Wait. Promise me you'll never see Dale Arden again. Or I swear by the great god tail, you'll never see anything again. King, unless you release my friends. <laughs> you are just in time. Come, help me amuse her. Flash, look out! at once. You will need that coil of wire. Bring it along. Zakov. His Majesty's way of dealing with an unruly slave. The wire will be attached to a high voltage circuit. And if you should attempt to escape, a switch will be thrown and you will be electrocuted instantly.
my father. Now you will answer to him for your defiance. Oh, Emperor Ming is coming. Bring in the Earth Girl. <laughs> Slaves become hard to handle since we put Flash Gordon among them. Circle, Flash. Listen, I'm going to take this wire and attach it to the handle of a shovel. There, get me a shovel. What for? When the time comes, you throw the shovel into the atom furnace. Remember, once you have thrown the shovel, Lives depend on you reaching the shelter of this lead wall. He knows that his next break will be electrocuted. We'll give them shorter rest periods. That'll break them. firing upon an imperial ship, for holding my daughter a prisoner and for seizing the person of my affianced bride, Dale Lord. Unless these and my other prisoners are released at once, I'll... Before your majesty makes idle threats, you had better consider your position and your present surroundings. <laughs> The Earth people by right belong to me. It should not be necessary for me to compel you to give them up. Don't anybody move or I'll run this through you. What now of the great power of which you boast, mighty mean? This continuous interference annoys me. Take them to the execution chamber. You would not dare. Please don't kill them. They have condemned themselves. Guards, take them away. 
Clock out. The furnace is blown up. Yes, I know. This gauge tests the strength of the beam to support the city. When the needle reaches zero, the entire city will fall. Get your experiments, Sarkov. We've got to save Dale and Flash. I can't until the zero mark is reached. shall not be kept. I have sworn by Teo. My word is good. The Emperor of the Universe, it is my right to call a tournament of death. And the Earth man will have to enter it. But if he survives, I hold you to his right. Liberty, a kingdom of his own, and the bride of his choice. Yes. If he survives. Do not forget, Your Majesty. The same applies to anyone else forced into the tournament and emerges victorious. I will order the tournament to commence at once. Where's my weapon? Your weapon will be presented to you at the arena of death. There you will combat the mighty masked swordsman of Mongo. You may go. Let them begin. Your champion, me. Finest swordsman in all Mongo. <laughs> You'll have to be the best to win from the earth.
I'm sorry, Flash. I was forced into this. I might have killed you. Oh, your champion was Prince Barrett. Clever trap, Ming. But the Earth Man won. Yeah. He won the right to fight the mighty beast of Mongo. Yeah. Ming will pay for this. Let the Earth Men be prepared for the next ordeal. Never mind, son. I'll take care of this. And what might that be, mighty Ming? Are you afraid of what fate might have in store for you, Earthmen? You are condemning Christ Gordon to death. Flash, I owe you an apology. No, no, Baron, now forget it. I entered the tournament with the hope that I'd wound you sufficiently to satisfy men. Or that you'd kill me. Put an end to my misery. Misery? I love Princess Aura. Baron. Forget it, Doc. He gave me an explanation that was satisfactory. What is it that I have to fight? A huge orangopoid that no man can conquer. You haven't a chance against the brute. I've got to take the chance to save Dad. The Earth Man, Flash Gordon, is wanted in the arena at once. Tell them I'm ready. Time your Earth Man has a worthy opponent. 